markets but how will all of these queues impact our own markets we have our research team joining in with how the trade setup looks like and the stocks that you need to watch out for this morning first up vivek is joining in with all the market queues good morning vivek it was a bit of a setback on friday but the wall street handover is pretty strong you're absolutely right. Good morning to you too. You know, it's the start of a fresh trading week. And uh, you know, the good part is that the global handover, like you mentioned, has been quite strong. So all of the U.S. indices uh, ended with sharp gains, in fact, on Friday with the Nasdaq up almost 2%. Uh, it'll be interesting to see whether there's some rub off on Indian IT as well. Remember, Indian IT was amongst the top underperforming sectors in the week gone by. Now, along with that, you know, one important cue that all of the market participants were looking for, for was, you know, the kind of commentary that comes in as far as the Berkshire Hathaway annual meeting was concerned. The two key takeaways, you know, Oh, but they've gone ahead and trimmed their stake as far as Apple is concerned. And second, they've gone ahead and exited completely Paramount and this was done at a loss. Now, other than that, you know, one important trigger as far as Indian markets are concerned continues to remain the oil price movement. Last week was quite weak as far as oil was concerned. Oil prices, in fact, uh, saw cuts of almost 7% in the week gone by. Friday too was another down day. WTI crude down <coughs> almost a percent in the week gone by on Friday. Now, coming to Indian markets, like you mentioned, Friday was a bit of a setback. Uh, you know, the biggest intraday fall as far as two months was concerned. HGFC Bank amongst the top rank as far as the Nifty Bank was concerned. Market breadth was significantly in favor of the decline. So PSUs were the top gainers. Like I mentioned, IT was amongst the top laggards. However, today, you know, the setup is much better. It does indicate we will see a bit of green as far as the screen is concerned. A lot of important results today. Uh, Lupin Maricom was the top FNO name. A lot of result reactions that we will watch out for. Top amongst them being Kotak Mahindra Bank, m and Fin, DMART, as well as Britannia. It will be interesting to see how the day pans out. Thanks a lot, Vivek, for joining in. And over to Sudarshan now, who will list out all of these talks that Vivek was highlighting. Sudarshan, good morning. Morning, Omar. So, three Nifty companies have reported earnings over the weekend. So, first, I'll start with Kotak Mahindra Bank. It has reported a healthy Q4. NI was up 13%. Operating profit has risen 18% year on year. NI has improved six bips versus expectation of a decline. Titan earnings have missed estimates. Jewelry margin has dipped 80 bips and watch business margin was down 280 bips year on year. And company expects gross margin Q2 to be modest as well. Britannia earnings were in line. Volume growth has come in at higher end of expectations. Revenue was up 1%. Volume growth has come in at 6%. M&M Fin asset quality is stable. Company has provided one-time provisions for the fraud. NI was up 16%. Operating profit was up 24%. Bidla Corp earnings were better than estimates. Margin has improved sequentially cost savings initiatives offset weak pricing environment revenue was up 8% operating profit has risen 72% year on year Kansai narrow leg decorative paint business recorded double digit volume growth while industrial coatings moderated over previous quarter revenue was up 2% margin sees a minor increase of 40 bips avenue supermarts or say dmart gross margin has risen 50 bips e-commerce business has turned EBITDA positive total revenue was up 20% for other stocks which have reported, or for other companies which have reported earnings, I have divided into two parts. So first, I'll talk about the companies which have reported good earnings. Those are Raymond, Inox Wind, Anup Engineering, JNK Bank, Carbo Random, and Zen Technologies. Now coming to stocks which have reported bad earnings, Arti Drugs, Wari Technologies, Vidinchi, and Tato Chintan. Now coming to companies which might react on the basis of news flow. First one is Zydus Live. It has acquired proprietary rights to Zocchin V drug from Iger Pharma for $45.2 million. And this Zocchin V is used for treatment of ultra-rare disease that is called Progeria. Next is Aurobindo Pharma. US FDA has issued seven observations for Unit 2 of formulation facility at Bhivadi, Rajasthan. Last is Dr. Reddy's. It has launched doxycycline capsules in the US used to treat bacterial infections. Plenty of stocks as always to watch out for. Thanks a lot, Sudarshan, for listing out all of them. And lastly, Nigel is joining in with the FNO queues this morning. Nigel, 20 DMA now holds the key for the Nifty. Well, that's right. Uh, you know, Hormuz, I think this market continues uh, to be in a bullish grip. And uh, I think today could be a bit of a trend day. What is that? That is you start off in the green. Maybe you buy the intraday dip because just going by the global queues, going by the domestic queues as well, it appears it can be a trend day. Uh, two key aspects from overnight. You know, I was listening into the jobs report that you all were talking about, and you have the dollar index that's cooled off, and you have the yields as well that's cooled off. That's normally a, a positive uh, trigger for equity markets like India, emerging markets. What happened on Friday? Yes, we saw a bit of selling, but there was an unwinding of long positions is what we saw. And what did the FIs do? Well, they unwound long positions big time. 50,000 contracts is what they unwound, and they added close on 20,000 contracts. I keep repeating on the channel itself, that I love a market that's net short, actually. When the FIs are net short, and the trend is suggesting that. Every time they become net long, we see some kind of selling. When they're aggressively net short, 
we do see that, in fact, uh, you know, there is uh, a bit of a bounce that we see. And that trend at some point of time should come up for you on the screen, which is important. What about the strike that was active? The 22,500 call bill, that was very active. The premium has come down from around 300 rupees. It's come down to around 150 rupees. And there appears there is writing out there. The bears are getting confident that they can defend this 22,800, 22,750, 22,800 on mark. So that becomes a bit of a resistance zone. On the downside, 20 DMA, 50 DMA, that range is held. You'll have to say that this market is still in a bullish grip. The Nifty Bank as well is facing res resistance at around that 48, 9,500, around 50,000 odd. Support though, you know, as long as the 20 DMA holds on both the two indices, you'll have to bet your money on this market continue to trend up. As I said, it could be a bit of a trend day that plays out today. Back to you. The market remains in a bullish grip is all that you want to hear on a Monday morning, isn't it, Nigel? Thanks a lot for joining in.